DJ Academics? Roll him up. Roll him up. It's Drake time. I think this is the biggest fan I've been of Drake in my entire life. Drake has never been one of those artists that has been like my top three favorites, but he's getting up there with this whole controversy. The whole situation with everybody hating on him just made me open my eyes that when you're at the top, this is going to happen to you. And the, the saying that it's lonely at the top is holding true right now. Drake is actually going against the whole rap game right now. And it's actually crazy to see with this track that we're about to react to push-ups or drop and get me 50 was apparently leaked. And I don't even know if it's the real version. There's a lot of people saying it is. I'm hoping it is. I've been waiting because I wanted him to drop it. But I'm just going to check it out because there's a bunch of people already posting it. I've already seen some snippets. I don't want it to get ruined anymore. So I've seen a couple of things, but for the most part, I haven't heard the whole track. I'm excited for it. Let me know what y'all thought about the track in the comments below. And if you're a fan of these types of videos, reactions slash reviews, consider joining the tribe. Hit subscribe. And with all that being said, let's see what all this is about. I got the lyrics, by the way. They got the lyrics on Genius already. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm we all, we all know, you know that's the future. I'm, in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Come on, we all know he's talking about Kendrick there, right? How are you big stepping? We all know the Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers album. That was the big, um, that was a big part of the whole storyline. You know, he's the big stepper. How are you big stepping when you only got five seven men's on? You're itty bitty. What, you, really? You wearing kid shoes? You big stepping? Let's continue. Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Oh. Ass your baby, hope for red, you been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes a push up. Hey. Cool, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. Oh, come the on. you doing splits. Bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. Okay. And we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. 50. Hey. <laughs> That's so hard. So he's talking, and I saw this online already. He's talking about Kendrick Lamar's deal with his label. He's apparently splitting 50-50, which is crazy. I don't, I, people are trying to overlook that. That is a huge deal. The fact that you don't own, you only own 50% of your masters is insane. You basically don't own what you own. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's a huge deal, right? He's talking about making verses from Maroon 5 and Taylor Swift, which Kendrick Lamar has done in the past. So Drake always gets put down by the rap game because, oh, you go pop and you try to do all these famous things. You're over here with all these pop artists, but yet Kendrick Lamar has done that too. Now, I want to be very clear here. I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar fan. I'm just saying what is true and what... I'm just saying it the what the truth is, right? Um, he, You know, he's just basically calling out what Kendrick has done in the past and in great defense, because we all know that all these other artists are going to come at Drake for these things. So he's already calling all these things out before it comes back at him, which is fire. He says, this is the bark with the bite. Everybody's going to talk about how Drake just barks and never bites. Hey, listen, I'm not I'm not J. Cole. I'm not just going to say, and it could be a shot at J. Cole, what I'm going to do and then don't do it. Listen, I'm coming back with some disses. And I say this is because I'm pretty sure this is the only thing he's going to drop. I've seen some things on Twitter or X where he's saying in screenshots, I'm not even close to being done. So I'm excited for it. Um, I think, oh, 
I know my pictures on the wall when they're cooking up. That can be two things. That can be he's inspiring these other artists, and two, his plaques are up there. You know what I mean? He they could be at at somebody else's studio and Drake, you know, Drake Grammy winning whatever whatever on that on that wall. So let's continue, man. Let me bring back. Let me bring that back. Drop and give them fifty. Pip squeak pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down. Like your label you ain't in no big right now. Oh. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just tight to now. Talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Hike big down. Different swing, Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We gotta back it up. We gotta back it up. We gotta back. Says something about top three, right? You ain't no big three. SZA got you wiped down. Travi got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. All these guys clear you when it comes to sales. So who really are you? Are you really top three when you can't make those sales? Because that's the only way that I see SZA, Savage, and Travis wiping you know, Kendrick. There's no way in a conceptual album or in a piece of art, full conceptual album, that they will take them. But in sales, those three artists, I'm pretty sure, can do it. Uh, like your label, you in the scope right now. Now I got my sights on you. You wanted it? Here we go. He says, and you're going to feel the aftermath. Aftermath, Interscope, Interscope label, right? We all know that. And he's like, I'm on the top of the mountain, so you're tight now. Just to have this talk with you, I had to hike down. That's fire, bro. Let's continue. One nigga, what's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Now, that's the bar that I saw online. And I'm sorry, I'm pausing. I'm not going to pause it so much anymore, okay? But listen, that bar is hard. The prince to a king. Watch. Y'all are going to listen to it. I saw that one online. That one. So what I write down, I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He, he a son, son nigga. Get more love in a city that you find nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, drums nigga. Ah, yeah, he brought the drums in. <laughs> that nigga manager was Charles little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Trickin'? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. <laughs> Just switch chains with you, wiki wiki. Oh my god, bro. That is hilarious. He's taking shots at the weekend, Abel. And that uh, future here, wicked, wicked, wicked. Right? Uh, because as in the beginning of the song, future, he says, uh, I had to hand you your first one. That's the future, right? He gave Future his first number one. And the number one album of Future is with Drake, right? Let's not forget that. He's also throwing shots at Abel or, or sorry, the weekend. For being a little fruity at times. Let's continue, bro. Boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Jersey chipping, Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, hey. I'll be Bodyguards like Whitney, top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Hey, baby, drop and give me fifty. Drop and give me fifty. Hey, niggas really got me out here. You own fifty percent. You don't got much say. Got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning fifty. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dog dropping, give me fifty drop, drop. In that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as oh, fuck. Let's Champagne go. tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating up. Oh, Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not, not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking. Who was begging Kaiser not though? I want to know who was begging to be on the on the stream. What does he say here? Hold on. The cold thing. I don't care. What the hell does he say? 
I don't care what cold thing. That dot shit was weak as. Mm. Man, he's gonna he's doing what he has to do, bro. He's doing what he has to do. Sorry, Cole. Sorry, Cole. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this and not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not creeping? fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money, feed oh. us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I've seen enough. The song creeping, right? He says, number wise, you're not out here. You're not effing creeping up. Because that was like one of their biggest songs. Let's go. You're not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money. Merch money feed us. I'm going to let you niggas work it out because I've seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait to demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait to demon up. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. What type of are you smoking on, Kendrick? Ooh. Yeah. Drop, 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 DJ Academics? Drop, drop. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Listen, for everybody saying that Drake is not in the conversation, you don't know what you're talking about. You honestly do not know what you're talking about. Drake it is has been weathered. He has been this plenty of times. He's been in the game for more than a decade, and he's been on top of the game for a decade, right? Again, as I mentioned in the beginning, I was never the biggest Drake fan, but you cannot, and I've never denied that he is one of the best to ever do it in this game, and that's just the absolute truth. It's just, he, he doesn't have to be your favorite, but for you to deny objectively that he is not the best, that he hasn't adapted to the game the best uh, than uh, any other artist that is just ignorant to say listen fire track in my opinion drake is in, drake is up ahead in my opinion Th and what i mean by that is now kendrick has to respond right because kendrick's verse was just a warning shot that's all it really was right he's just saying you know i'm not i'm not it's not big three it's big me right that caused Drake and J. Cole to respond. J. Cole didn't want it, right? So now Drake is here because he's throwing direct shots. Cole needs to respond, and I know Cole's going to respond, and I'm here for it, bro. I'm so excited for all this beef. I know Kendrick's going to come with some heat too, and and we're all this is going to cause these artists to come out with their best music. So can't hate on it. With all that being said, guys, hope you appreciated the video. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. We're going to be covering the whole discombobulation here. With all that being said, guys, peace.